Hello, today in this video we're going to discuss long division of polynomials. Uh, this is simply a long division just like with, uh, with numbers, but uh, uh, we're just dealing with one term being divided into a polynomial to see what is left over. This is a way to uh, possibly factor a polynomial. Uh, we'll start out with an example uh, like this, x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 8. This is going to be divided by x minus 1. So that is truly long division uh, in its, in its uh, normal form. Um, so long division of polynomials is a question. This times what makes that? If you kind of think about long division back in the, the old days, 32 divided by 4 was 8. Uh, this times this made 32. 4 times 8 made 32. In the same way, x minus 1 times something up top will make x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 8. The way you start this is you first ask a question. You say, this times what makes x cubed? And the answer to that is x squared. We're going to write that up above. So x times what makes x cubed? Well, that's x squared. We're going to take x squared and now multiply it times x and minus 1 and bring it down below and subtract it. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. We're going to draw a line and subtract what we just wrote down x cubed minus x cubed cancel out. Minus 3x cubed, this is minus and minus, so it's actually a plus x squared. Minus 3x squared plus x squared is minus 2x squared. Then we bring down all the rest. <coughs> Next we ask the question again, x times what makes minus 2x squared? Our goal is to always cancel out the first term x times what makes minus 2x squared? Well, that is minus 2x. So you take that minus 2x times the x, and you get minus 2x squared. Minus 2x times the minus 1, and that's 2x. Subtract the bottom line from the top line. Minus 2x squared, and minus and minus is a plus 2x squared. Those cancel out. x minus 2x makes negative x, and then uh, bring down the negative 8. And now the last question we're going to ask is x times what makes negative x, and that is negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. Subtract. Negative x and minus and minus x is a plus x, so those cancel out. Negative 8 minus 1 makes a minus 9. And now we ask, does x go into minus 9? No, it does not. So this is my remainder. And the way you write the remainder is you go plus negative 9 over x minus 1. So if you took x minus 1 and multiply it times this and this and this, you would end up with what we started with x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 8. Uh, that's an example of long division of polynomials. Uh, we're going to do a couple, uh, a couple other examples. Uh, I'm going to move down. And the next example is going to be uh, a problem that does not have a remainder. Uh, this is going to be 2x cubed plus 11x squared plus 18x plus 9. We're going to divide that by just x plus 3. So the first question to ask is x times what makes 2x cubed? And that is 2x squared. We take our 2x squared times the x, we get 2x cubed 
2x squared times 3 is 6x squared. Now we'll subtract the bottom line from the top line and we get these cancel out. 11x squared minus 6x squared is 5x squared. Bring down the 18x. Bring down the 9. Now we do this again. x times what makes 5x squared? Well, just a 5x. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times 3. 15x. Subtract the bottom from the top, and these cancel out. 18x minus 15x is 3x. And then plus 9 is left. Then we'll do this a final time. x times what makes 3x? Plus 3. Uh, 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 3 is 9. We'll bring those down. Subtract the bottom from the top, and we get 3x minus 3x is 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. So this is my remainder. And uh, it's zero. What that tells me is that x plus 3 goes in evenly to this function. And one way, another way to think about this is 2x cubed plus 11x squared plus 18x plus 9 can be factored as 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 times x plus 3. And uh, this is a little bit of a digression, but oftentimes we want to completely factor a polynomial. And obviously, x plus 3 is just a linear factor. It can't be, it, it is what it is. Um, this is a quadratic factor. The highest power al always tells me how many more linear factors there are going to be. For the very beginning, we had x cubed or x cubed here. There should be three linear factors. Um, so if we just did the bottoms up factoring real quick. <clears throat> and uh, we multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. Uh, let's just write that out real quick. Uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6. What multiplies to be 6 but adds up to be 5? x plus 3 and x plus 2. And since we multiplied by 2 over here, we divide by 2. This is x plus 1. And then the 2 comes up front, and we get 2x plus 3. So basically, we come over here and say this whole guy equals 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x plus 3. That is the complete linear factorization. I just factored this guy right here to be 2x plus 3 times x plus 1. I kept my x plus 3. The, the goal of long division of polynomials often, often ends up in factoring it completely down. So that's why I said this is a cube. Let's factor it down to all three linear terms. As long as you have a remainder of 0, then you're on track to factoring it. If you have a remainder like we had up here of negative 9, what that tells me is even though... Uh, I, I did the, my division correctly. X minus 1 is not a factor, uh, a nice even factor of, of those numbers. Just like 4 is a factor of 32, it goes in 8 times. But if I divided 5 into 32 and said 5 goes into 32 6 times, subtract that, you get 2. How many times does 5 go into 2? It doesn't. So we'd have 5 remainder 2. Uh, that tells me that that 5 doesn't go evenly into 32. Let's try one more. Okay, what's a little bit different on this problem 
is that my what I'm dividing into my my x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x plus 16 is itself a quadratic, x squared plus 5. With long division of polynomials, that's just fine. It doesn't matter if this is just x plus 3 or x minus 7 or if it's x squared plus 5. It all works the same. So first question is x squared times what makes x cubed? That's just x. And we just take, just like before, x times x squared is x cubed. x times 5 is 5x. Now this is the trick. Notice that I line up my terms together with like terms. So 5x goes with the 3x, the minus 3x. It does not go with the 8x squared. And so when I subtract these, x cubed minus x cubed is 0. This 8x squared just comes down on its own. There's nothing to combine with it. Minus 3x minus 5x is minus 8x. And then 16 comes down. And now we ask again, x squared times what makes 8x squared? Plus 8. 8 times x squared is 8x squared. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. Notice I lined up the 40 with the 16, not with the 8x. We have to always keep the like terms together, even if it looks funny. This minus this is 0. Uh, minus 8x comes down. Uh, 16 minus 40 is minus 24. And does x squared go into 8x? It does not. So this is my remainder in this time. It's a, it's a more complicated remainder, but that's fine. Uh, so we just write up here plus minus 8x plus 24 over x squared plus 5. So that's one more example of um, dividing using long division of polynomials.